And I feel real good about uh, going into this week right here. We know it's going to be very, very challenging, but I, I do know that our players is up for the challenge. Coach, what did you get from watching the LSU Tigers and y'all exchange game film already uh, for the game this week? Yes, we, we have uh, exchanged game film. Uh, I, a lot of talent over there, there's no question about it. Uh, things just didn't bounce their way this past game, but that has nothing to do with the type of team that they have. A lot of uh, talent out there, uh, just as I spoke to another individual, I know a lot of those guys are not say that they were going to come, but I, I did recruit a lot of those guys, especially the guys that are from Louisiana and Texas. So very familiar with uh, those guys, and it's going to be a challenge for us. Coach, have you talked to your players much about what a historic event this is going to be and, and, and how to handle that and not get caught up maybe in the, in, in the emotion and the uh, history? Well, don't, won't, don't want to make the game uh, bigger than what it should be. Uh, we know it's a, it's a big game because it's the next game for us. So they do understand that approach that we are taking. It is very historical and, and uh, we're pleased and, and blessed to be able to play in it. But at the end of the day, we want to go out and prepare and play for 60 minutes. Well, we know, we know the outcome, uh, we say, for us, uh, you know, the things that they're able to get. But I, I think the big thing is giving you a measuring stick to see where your team is at. You want to see how you can line down against some of the best talent. And that's what it's all about, being very, very competitive. Uh, do you go in there thinking that, well, I just want to see uh, how good my team is? No, you go in there to win. I don't think you, you, you schedule a game and don't feel confident or, or, or want to win. So we're going to prepare that way. Well, you know, you got to uh, always uh, have sudden changes, and, and that's what we believe in. We, we pride ourselves on preparing our student athletes throughout the whole week, things that's going to take place, uh, people that you're going to play in front of, and that's what you live to play this game for, to, play in, to have a crowd such as what we're going to have this Saturday. So I think the, the moment is not going to be big, the stage is not going to be big. We just got to understand it and, and, and play football for 60 minutes. No, I, I think Coach Richardson had me going in a different direction. When I came and coached up under him, uh, I thought every game we were in it, we were expected to win it. So uh, it's no different than this right here. Uh, you know, when you look at the, uh, the transfer portal and what things are taking place, you know, teams are uh, kind of like on an even playing field. Not the same. Uh, of course, we do understand the magnitude of, of the team that we plan, but I, I think you always think you have a chance when you prepare your team. And are you satisfied with your depth in terms of being able to play tempo? I, I am, uh, because uh, you know sometimes you, you can't out uh, smart yourself. Uh, if you don't have the depth to, gun t to run tempo, don't do it because you're going to burn your team out. But I feel we, we have the depth to do the things that we want to do, uh, the, type, the type tempos that we want to run. Uh, we have several tempos that we, we plan on using, but you know it's all about the game. Uh, you know, you got to play the whole game. You just can't play the game on the offensive side. And I learned that uh, completely. <laughs> I do have a defense, so you got to make sure you protect the defense as well. Coach, this is going to be a story matchup. How excited are you to finally face off against LSU, a team like right across the way in Baton Rouge? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, even within the first week, uh, the fans and the uh, reporters wouldn't let me overlook LSU games, so now I finally get a chance to answer questions about LSU. But we, we're, we're definitely excited about it. I think it's good because, you know, we don't know it and we don't see it, but when you go to different places around uh, the city of Baton Rouge, those guys, they, 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 they together, you know. It's, uh, they know that they're athletes. It's not hard to find another athlete. And, you know, you got places such as, I don't want to name certain restaurants. They may go up and they see one another. Some of those guys are friends. Some of those guys play with one another. So I, I think it's uh, very, very exciting for both sides, the, the city of Baton Rouge. Do you like the matchup with your offensive line and their defensive line with the loss that they've had this week? I mean, I know it's, there's still some dudes on that side, but do you still like it better now than you did maybe before this weekend? I would never like it. They got some guys that play defensive line. But you know what? The, the great thing about this here, our offensive line, I, I, and I'm not saying it in a, in a bad way, we got some good defensive linemen here too as well. So uh, they, they had an opportunity to go against some guys that I feel can play some football at a high level. So uh, I feel we'll be prepared. What's the craziest thing you've heard from a fan about this game? 
Well, you know, uh, I haven't been talking to the fans, I'll be honest with you, because I, I try to, uh, you know, that, that, that situation is uh, just need to go 1-0 and just want to focus on that team that we're playing. That's all I did. Uh, I know all about LSU. I'm from Louisiana, from New Orleans, so I, of course I know about LSU, but uh, now uh, I get text messages, I just don't answer. I get phone calls, I just don't answer. So that's the way I stay out of the limelight. Have you had any ticket requests this week from any of your... I wouldn't know because I'm not answering. I turned it over to my wife. I let my wife take care of the tickets. She can say no better than I can. <laughs> Coach, how do you assimilate 100,000 people on the stage? You block it out. You just don't worry about it. You're the only one on the stage, so you just got to play the game. I, I love it. We love to, to be the center of it, so uh, we feel it's a show that uh, everybody coming to see, so we love the fans that's going to be there. We know it's football. It's college football at its best. So your, guys are, your guys are cool with playing people if they can't hear anything. Oh, yeah. We're, I mean, who loves football better than Louisiana? So we understand uh, the magnitude of this game. We know it's going to be, uh, I say, 105, 110,000 screaming fans. Uh, uh, some of them going to be some Jaguars as well, so we feel real good about it. Coach, how beneficial was it to play four quarterbacks? And how did, did you see anything that stood out of the yeah, it, it created, uh, uh, well, we're going to always be in competition, but I think it, it helped the depth-wise uh, to know because if you got one, in my philosophy, you got none. So you got to have multiple guys to play. The only thing I think that wasn't good, uh, didn't give our quarterback an opportunity to play a full game. Uh, you want them to play that full game because you know coming into the season, uh, things are going to get a little testy. So, uh, but I thought it was beneficial for the play all those guys to see where they were and how can they handle a football game. Absolutely. I think it, uh, it, it's the opportunity. You got to seize the moment. And I think you get a chance to play against a team uh, like LSU and, and to be on that stage and to be on uh, television, I think it speaks volume uh, to give uh, Southern University recognition. So, of course, uh, you know, when guys ask whatever you do, you, you recruit. We say the United States. That's everywhere. So uh, we think this is a great opportunity for us. Watching the LSU game on Sunday, did you see any holes that your team would hope to exploit, or are you just kind of focused on playing your own brand of football? Uh, we're going to always focus on playing our brand of football, but if I did, I probably wouldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, what do you think this game means to just bad Rouge in general? Like, I think it means a, a great deal. You know, when I, when I think about it, uh, I keep going back to it. I mentioned it earlier this week. I think of 2003, and I know there's some individuals in this audience that remember that, uh, when they had the parade of champions. You know, that's the last time I saw this city come together as one. You couldn't tell who was wearing blue and gold, who was wearing purple and gold, because everybody enjoyed it. And I, I think that's the way the fans look at it. You're talking about you got uh, two band directors that know one another. Uh, now you got, uh, I got, I know several guys that's on the LSU staff, uh, some guys that are recruited. So, I mean, I think it's more like a, a family affair, but for 60 minutes, of course, you know it's going to be a different type of uh, game, but I think it's, it means a lot for the city of Baton Rouge. Uh, I tell you what, economically, it's going to mean a whole lot for the city of Baton Rouge. What are your thoughts about Brian Kelly coming from Notre Dame? He's won in Cincinnati, he's won everywhere he's been. Now the LSU coach, his first game. What do you think? Of, what are your thoughts on Brian Kelly? Well, I mean, it, you don't have to think much about it, and you can't put one game into the thoughts of uh, Brian Kelly. He's a winner. I mean, just look at his track record, the things that he have done, and things he have accomplished. So. Uh, we, we don't look into those type things right there. I think he's a proven uh, winner, and he's a guy that's going to get the job done. Have you ever met him and ever talked to him? I have. I have had opportunity. Uh, he invited us over to the camp. Uh, went to their camp this uh, summer, and he uh, had a chance to talk with him. What role will the kicking game play? It's going to be huge. I, I think if you don't prepare in all three phases, you put yourself in um, trouble. I, I Any other questions? So, Coach, you brought up 2000. I know that there was words about them contemplating playing in 2004. When you were an assistant here at Southern, was it a thing that you wanted to play against LSU? Like, was it something that like you pushed for, or people in the program pushed for? I never pushed for it. I don't think uh, uh, any of the coaches pushed for it because uh, we thought it would never happen, but it did. Uh, you know, things change. Things change, and, and now the opportunity is here. Do you think this is a good or bad time to play LSU after this weekend? Uh, 
I, to me, I always think any time is good to play. <laughs> I'm a competitive, so I just feel like we can play any time. You know, I have a motto, and it's not a bad motto. We just say spot the ball. So that means we're ready to play any time.